Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell yeah. no, man. So you want to be a better drifter? Or you're new to drifting? In this video, I will break everything down, step by step, to ensure that drifting is as simple as possible for you beginners and players looking to improve your skills. It is important for you to not miss any steps in this process, so be sure to stick around to the end for the complete guide, especially if you are a beginner to the game and its mechanics. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe while you're at it, and feel free to comment any video you'd like me to make. Now without delaying any further, let's get started. The first thing that we will have to cover is how to tune the car, I will use this easy to buy BMW E39. This is not a popular drift car, but it will be a good practice car for beginners. Tuning is the first most important part of your drift build. I will guide you through the process of buying the parts and also getting your tires ready for drifting. Pay special attention to the parts that I purchase. Most people only have access to the V12 engine, so I will be using that engine for this build. However, if you are able to buy the W16 engine, please do so as more power is better for all-wheel drive drifting. For beginners, I always recommend buying Turing tires, as this tire is much smoother and easy to handle when drifting. After buying these new tires for your car, we will need to burn them to 0%. I will show you how to do this, so pay close attention. The first thing you will need to do is put your car in all-wheel drive, then turn these settings on for less restriction on the wheels. Now move up close to the wall and hit the gas pedal. While holding the gas, click on the map and they will burn themselves. It usually takes 5 minutes or less to burn brand new tires to 0%. I will speed up this part for the purpose of the video. Now that our tires are at 0%, we can finish the rest of the tuning. All these steps are an important part to get you started, so make sure not to skip any part of the tuning process. COG, suspension and the gearbox are all important steps. Now that you have applied the drift settings to your car, we can begin the process on how to drift with the tuning. Follow along and I will show you how it's done. When you are trying to drift, always try to take the wider side of the corner, as this gives you more time to transition into the next corner and also looks a lot more uniformed. Pull the handbrake only when you need to increase more angle and your car is beginning to straighten.
Use the foot brake to extend your drift. This is what gives that smooth look before you go around a corner. After you get these basics down, it's all about practice and getting used to the car. Let me know if this video was helpful in your journey to becoming a better drifter in car parking multiplayer. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next one.